What is up, everybody? Coming up next, the live C2E2 unboxing here on Three Men in the Basement. There's nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can change the focus to a soft blur or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. Oh, we love that video, right? Uh, we love that. Video. Fantastic, fantastic. Fantastic. Love it. Thanks to our video editor, Nemesis Prime. What is up, everybody? This is Three Men in the Basement, Friday night, coming up live and direct from the grotto. I can't wait for the show tonight. We have our C2E2 unboxing. We've got a special guest here, Papa Frank. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to be a great show right now. So if I am Everett Otto, if I'm here right now to my right, I always have. Roger Levac, man. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, watching after, comment, sub up, share. Like that video. All right. Hold on. You know what? We're having technical difficulties right now. Justin, you do your deal. Who are you, buddy? Go ahead. Who am I? I am Oracle. I am the producer of this show. So, of course, if you guys who know, I am doing all the little videos in the background. And, of course, our newest member, Dave in the Cave. Say what's up to everybody. What's up, party people? So I got two for ten, and I'm selling wipes for, for ten dollars a, a pack. You know where to get me. Very nice, very nice. All right, you guys good up there? We're good, we're good. I had too much audio going on. And in our special audience tonight, we have a live audience tonight. We have Uncle Frank here, a uh, good friend of mine, uh, South End guy from the South End of Hartford. Good friend of mine hangs out at the LCS. Got some books that he's going to display tonight. He doesn't know his grades in two, three men in a basement form. So as always, and he was at the swap in New yeah, Jersey. Yes, I mean, took the ride he down, down, made it made a day of it. Let his wife spend some of his money and came and spent even more on uh, on our swap. I had a swap, so we're books. gonna get his input about it and see how it goes. Um, and so as always, you guys, we are sponsored by Rocket Comics. Our boys at Rocket Comics are working hard. Uh, I just want you to know that at C two E two, they brought big books. So these are the books that Scott brought with him. When he went to Rocket Comics, he didn't bring one AF-15. He brought two AF-15. Stop it. Yes, two. Um, wow. He brought a 4.0. Well, I don't. They came back a 4.0 and a 2.5. Okay, those books are huge. Also, I just have some stats for him right here. He didn't bring ten Hulk 181s. He brought eleven Hulk 181s with right him now. that he hand that they handled, they pressed, and got sent back to CGC. Those grades, I don't know. Uh, very funny when I was talking to them. Customers books. Customers books, Customers yes. Books, so he's right. handling these books. So we're going to West Coast, to C2E2, stuff. not alone our books, Uncle Frank's books. Yeah. Maybe the see. last con of the year. <laughs> C2E2 was a big deal. You know? right. I mean, knew, who would have known? Right, absolutely. <laughs> so um, so they really did work hard. And uh, you know, when I was talking to him, I go, give me some funny stories. And he told me a great story about him, Scotty Young, and Mike the Big To Do, and how they were running around and trying to get signatures. And they got everything done. Um, and with the cancellation of these cons, though, you guys, people are out big money, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. when I was talking to him, because Emerald City canceled, his company alone is out three thousand dollars. Oh. That was a lot of money to me. I don't know about you, you know, Hell yeah. So, um, so but they are working forward, buy some good keys with that, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So, Justin, who do we have in the live chat? Who do we want to give well, a shout out? You know, to? like you said, they, they are working hard, and right now, guys, now is the time to go ahead and send some books in because, of course, if you do like Rocket Comics and you use the mention three MIB or three men in a basement and you're a new customer, you're gonna get 20 percent off your total pressing first invoice order, and if you like them a lot which we all do because a lot of us have already used them. Your returning customers get 10% off their pressing invoice. Again, either using the code three MIB or three men in a basement. Uh, right now, hanging out us with us in the chat. We got man cave chronicles. Keep it real guys. We got mighty comics and collectibles. Thanks for joining tonight. Got the butchers in here. Uh, of course, our man, Lords of the Long Box, TiVo. Again, right after this show, there is an auction on Lords of the Long Box. Get out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> one of one of somebody, myself, I think I'm in there. So a lot of guys in here. Lon Espinosa is chilling with us. Johnny Dakota. Thanks, guys, so much for joining us on a Friday night. We are Coronavirus Podcast Free. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Club has joined us. Hey, there hey, they what's are. Up? So we are off the heels of our swap, which I thought was a big success. Um, I don't know if we, we want to talk yeah. about that for 36. You saw a bunch of our videos, so we won't belabor that. But you know what? This show is all about CGC unboxings. Yeah. So without further ado, let's bring Uncle Frank on to the let's show for the first time behind the camera to talk about some of his books. So Uncle Frank, come on and join us, buddy. All right? Get in there. There you go. 
Right. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Good friend? to see you, man. Thank Good you. to see you. you. All right. Thank you. See, I'm, I'm not afraid of the zombie apocalypse. That's right. See, that's <laughs> right so Uncle Frank is here. He's got some books that he bought, um, and uh, we're going to go over it. But I do want to talk about one big book that we've been talking about, and that is a book that you have a Kirby signature in. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, tell us a little bit about this book, how you found the signature, and what happened. So what's the genesis of this? So There's a shop in East Hartford, Connecticut. Yep. And... Anything Kirby, yeah, I pick up. Okay, right. Pretty much. I don't care if I have it already. Yeah. So I ran across a copy of New Guys number one. Okay. All right. So, so I didn't know that that was this book was. Right. Okay. That that was the book, yep. and that was my second copy. So just and I had it. I put it in my box like I normally do. And one day I just opened it up to look at it, and lo and behold, on the inside page it was Jack Kirby. A Jack Kirby signature on the inside. So you open it uh, up, you're like, wow. Right. Can this be real? Right. All right. Okay. So I thought about it, and this was this was probably a month or so before Terrificon, which is in August. Right. Right. Um, so I went and and I, I thought about bringing it in, and then I was there on Saturday with you know you know with the wife, and yeah. we spent all day there, and right. then CBCS was there, and they're yep. the only ones that do this. Yeah. So I thought it might be a good idea. I talked to them. Yeah. So I showed them the picture. Yeah. And uh, my wife said, well, "You know what? Just come the next day." Okay. So I went back on Sunday. So I dropped it off. Okay. So all you right. go home, you get it, right? right? You go home, you get it. You're like, all right, I'm going to bring it to them, and let's see. Now, this is your second copy of this book, like you said? Yes. Okay, all right. Now, have you seen Kirby Sigs? Like, I think we have all seen copies of Kirby Signatures. So when you saw it, were you like, that's got to be him? Like, Right. The, the first thing I did, I went online, yep. and I just said, wait, this looks exactly like every other signature really? I see okay. when, when, when you Google Jack Kirby Signature. Yep, nice, nice, nice. So, Rod, right. we have that book ready? Yep. All right. So, he but... I will ask you, Frank, was this a long process? I just got it back a, a week or so ago. Did you really? Yeah. Right. So okay. what are we talking? It was in August. Yeah. Uh, to you know, now. So, okay. Five, six months. All right. How was six. your communication with them? They did answer all my emails. They did. Okay. All right. But but it, it always seems, you know, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Well, every service could add X number of weeks to it. Okay. It could add total, 12 total weeks extra. Right. That's business day. Yeah. So it's a little, you know. Okay. But still, it's almost seven months. It is seven. That's a long time. A long like, time. You know, I could grow a full head of hair in seven. Well, not a full head of hair. But, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah, I really, if I go back to it, I could grow a full head of hair. So without further ado, let's take the book out. Okay. All right? Let's take the book out. Oh, man. I'm nervous. So <laughs> what do I do here? What do I so, do just, here? so just flip right. it right over. Flip show right us what over. we got. Yeah. Where's the camera? All right. Camera's right, right there. All right. Yeah. So we've got a blue label. Let's see what it says. What so it's a seven O. Wow. Uh, it says Jack Kirby on first page, unverifiable. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. that hurts. That hurts. But uh, uh, guys, I'm telling you, you would have seen it. It looks yeah, like right. everything else. So, <laughs> so this it's a seven O, but Jack Kirby is written on the inside. Um, I don't know. Like yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Know, like Jack Kirby on the inside. Right, like a twelve-year-old kid's not going to do it. You're not going to do it, right? I mean, yeah, I, so, I don't understand this whole process. Right, because I mean, they have enough samples available. Yeah, to okay. to, to kind of it, you know, and and the people at CBCS, the guys that were there, they were saying this seems. He, they even called the his four people that were walking around the show. Yeah, and they they all of them said this hits every check mark that we look for. that you look for. Right. right so wow, did he sign it in pen or is it in marker? It was not marker, but like a very thin marker. Yeah, Jack Kirby mm. in quotations, unverifiable. Well, that's you know what, crazy. Though? If you think it is, then I think it is, and it's, so it's got to be right. It's still I, a nice it's, book. It's still I'm a nice very book, happy right? to have it. It's still a nice book. Uh, still, you know, it is a nice uh, CBCS label, um, but it is a CBCS label, Hilo. Just so you know, yeah, but unverifiable. So, but you know what? I I would think it all day. So my I have an X Men number one, uh, very very old label, the original label, and it says Stan Lee written on the inside cover. Now, eventually, I am going to take that book with Rocket Comics, open it up, like we're going to do a whole thing and check who it is. Now, I, I think it's Stan Lee's signature, right? Like no other, nobody's going to write Stan Lee on the inside. So, man, that's that's a little rough, but it's okay. You know, it's okay, right? I, I like your optimism, man. It's that's okay. good. That's okay. Go yeah, trades go east and trades go west. <laughs> So, for, so Frank, was this was this a specific process for for a Jack Kirby sig? Like, is this something that was dedicated, or, or was it just like your your regular run of the mill signature verification? No, they uh, apparently that this went through three different processes. Wow, you know, they had to go to the cleaning and pressing, and then they had to send it out to somewhere else because I don't think Beckett does their off signature authenticating 
right in Texas as where the CBCS offices is. So I'm thinking they had to ship it out and then they had to get it back. Yep. And then at, at some point, like four months ago, I got an email saying it's in our safe ready for grading. Okay. Until this. So wow. it didn't give me any other information in this process. Right. Until, you know, your books are ready to ship and here we go. Yep. Man. All That's right. crazy. Hey, at least it's not restored. I mean, yeah. it's still a blue label, so it's it still tough. has value. You know, and if you're not, you know, whether you keep it in the PC or you sell it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still, it's better than getting, you know, resto or color Correct, process, resto or know, missing like page. So it definitely still has value, even though, unfortunately, it is unverified. Right. So we got a great comment. Agreed. So, so uh, agreed. Family show. Uh, Uncle Frank <laughs> to knock them out. <laughs> there we go. Uh, well, you do have some other books. I do. I have three CG's. more. You have three, three more books. Okay. Um, and so these books, so when we were talking, these books were sent to. I, I think you should I'll, open these. Uh, okay, okay, I'll open these. Right okay, yep. So I'll do that. And we'll go there. Justin, how many people do we have in the live chat? Oh, we got about 50 people chilling with us on this beautiful people. Friday right. night. So after we do uh, Uncle Frank's unboxing, uh, we will give a giveaway. I got about, I got a lot of like five books that we can give away for everybody. So stay tuned. So what three books do we have in here, Frank? Well, I have the first bullseye. I believe yeah. it's 131. 131 Great right? book. My favorite villain. Um, one of my favorite villains. I have an ASM 129. Ooh, okay. And I have a Hulk 180. Do you really? And, all right. Nice. And all of them were bought from our local LCS. Yep, LCS. Okay. okay. Shout out to the eye opener. We heart art, right? Exactly. So, exactly. All right. So. Yeah, we heart Braulio. So <laughs> who made the deals? Was it the owner or was it Braulio? Uh, it's always art. It's always it's art, always right? Art. Braulio won't yeah. make the deals. No, nah, not really. And he's my cousin on top of that. So, you know, <laughs> he so he can only do so much. Right. But it's kind of like well, it, and, yeah. and anything big like that, he goes, you got to go through art. Yeah. No problem. So, um, so these books, you... So you trusted in, in us, right, in Three Men in the Basement and agreed to say so you sent the books out to Scott at Rocket Comics, right? Uh, your experience was good? It was great. Great. I love it. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, the, the email communication was so much better than CBCS. Not trying to dog them. Right, right. But it just, it's a simple fact. I Perfect. mean, Scott and, and his wife, they were great. Perfect. They answered okay. everything like within 24 hours whenever yeah. I had a question. All right. So I'm going to look at the first book. Let's okay. see what we, have, what we have. Okay. So... Now, this is your Hulk 180. Okay. Okay. What do you think it will come back at? What are you unhappy with? And what are you happy with? Okay. So. From what I, I would love a seven. Okay. I would love a seven. Yep. I will, I will take a five or six all day long. Okay. Take I'm a five okay or like six that. all day long. I'm okay all right. with it. So First like, one is what? The Hulk 180. Here we go. All right. All right. So you're the first cameo of Wolverine or is this first full appearance? What are we saying? Uh -huh. How much time you got to have this argument? Yeah, exactly. All right. so, Frank, you are the owner of a Hulk 180 at a 6.0. Okay. There you go. Right. Not bad. Right. Good, good. Right. There you go. And let's see what the labels say in these days. I know ahead of me. Yeah. First appearance of Wolverine and Cameo. Last page. There you go. All right. Okay. All right. I'm very happy. Good. Right. This is awesome. All so right. Let's start. So we have a little bit of this with the Kirby Sig. You got your 6.0. There you go. Well, you know what? I I did I did buy a 180 182 yeah. at a 6.0. So wait a minute. Well, you always, wait, you wait, always wait, 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 what's going on here? Yeah. All right. All right, right on, right on. We got linear now. Right. Nice, nice. So I'm two out of three. Yep. <laughs> All right. So um all right, so we're gonna start with ASM one twenty nine. All right. What are you thinking this is gonna be? So the whole thing. Six, six and a half. Six, six and a half. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, all right, disappointed with with a five with a honest, five. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so Frank, unfortunately, trains go east, trains go west. You got a five. Oh my god, with a hey. purple label. Oh, oh no, no, oh, ouch, purple label. Oh, yeah, I got a purple label from Art once too, though. I, oh. I, I did so. Let's what is take it? Let's see go what right it ahead, do what you got to do. It has um, to do with standing that out of right. No, it doesn't. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, small amount of color touch on cover. Oh. So, yeah. Hey, so if that's you, all it is, you can get that on rest, though. Yeah. yeah. I think yep. you might have to do that. You so might have to do this. Yeah. Yep. I've done I've done it. So, I'll talk to you about it a little okay. bit before, you know? <laughs> so, unfortunately, the purple label. <sighs> Definitely. Well, hey, you know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Frank? I love it. I, what do you, I, I don't love the fact you got that, but I love your optimism and stuff like that. What are you going to do? You know, I, I'm, did you get it for a fair price, you thought? I did. You did. did. Okay. All right. So I, I bet even if I be, I bet even if you get the resto removal and you go into it, you'll still be flush. If not, you know what I mean. But I like the five O. Good book. You know, probably I mean, it presents well. It does. It does. Uh, it has a little you know? dirt here, but it looks. Yeah, good. looks good. Well. All right. 
Okay. All right. So now we've got bullseye. All right. So Frank, what are we thinking on this? This was the lowest one. Okay. All right. All right. I looked at it. I yeah. said, but again, I always hear you and other and, yeah. the, and the other and the other people in the yeah. in the channels talking about use your books for equity. Correct. Right. right. We so, definitely believe in that. Absolutely. So I'm thinking four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. All right. So you are, you do have equity. You have a Daredevil 131 and a 35. Okay. 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 Well, white pages. So I think that's big, you know? <laughs> Three and a half. Oh, no, Roger's laughing at the white pages. <laughs> How old is that book? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Well, here we go. What year? <laughs> this 70? book is 76 white pages. 76 white pages. Right. Did you get a modern? Uh, the modern went off white when they had black glossy pages. Like, yeah, I so get it. I get they it. were black pages. They were, they were completely yeah. black. <laughs> right. So shout out to our boy Roll down in, down under. He's <laughs> loved to see Roger just smash the slab. So three five, but you knew that, right? I you knew, knew that. You knew I knew it was that. Low. Okay. I there you go. So you know what though? Good book. Good book to have in equity. So you know you've got. I'll tell you, Frank. Four books. You've definitely run the gamut. You've got a CBCS. You know, you've got a 5 resto. You've got a good grade here. You got four books. So, I mean, that's pretty good. You no, know? I'm happy. Like, I'm happy. Yeah, I like it. I like that you're happy. So that um, was a roller coaster ride. That's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Do you think I'm, you're gonna go? I'm, I'm gonna send it in because I have a I have a set of um, 1985. Of I was telling, I, I told everyone I have I have a set of 185 of the Dark Knight Returns. Yep. I bought two sets. One that I beat to crap. Yeah. The other one I literally put in a mylar and I taped the mylar. Yeah, right. The complete set never opened. Yeah. Mm. So I'm gonna send those in and I'll do the rest on I'll right again. This is all part of the process. It's all part of the process, right? And you know, like I always say, what do I say? This isn't a sprint, this is a marathon, right? So you've got the book. If it takes a while to get it done, eventually you'll have it, and there's your equity when it comes back. So absolutely. So do we guys uh Justin, uh Dave, yeah. any questions for Frank about this or no, man. I like, you know, unfortunately you got the 5.0, but uh definitely recommend if it's just color touch, definitely recommend sending it to CCS and having the uh, unrestorable, you know, even if it dr drops one, you know, a point, if it drops right. to 4.5, it's still, it, it, it's still, still worth point. money. It's right. definitely still so, worth money at a 4.5. So that's, right. a highly, that's a highly sought after Spidey book. I mean, that's, Correct. that's a, that's a major, major, major first appearance for them. So. Right, and I, and I also want to say though, and I, I want to piggyback on what you guys said, and this is also what we've talked about on Lords of the Long Box. Big bronze keys or big keys and high grades are very hard to move, right? You know, unless you're you know part of the six comma or the three comic comma club um, when it comes to it. But that book is the second biggest book in the Bronze Age, in my opinion, other than Hulk 181, right? And a 40, that's a book that you can wheel and deal with to get something else. So I will you know, have no problem selling that. Yeah, there you go. So that's it. You're not I'm you're sure not married to it. There no. you go. All right. Well, thank you All very right. much. Thank Frank. you so much. You got it, man. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys. Right. Appreciate everyone. Right. Well, thanks, thanks for joining us. Chat. He's not going anywhere. He's in for the long haul. So um, let's see what's going on now. So we want to do a giveaway, Justin, or uh, we want to take I a like, break. I do. I think we actually got it. All right. I got to see Tivo's comment here about. He made a comment that said, don't trust Otto and Roger, Uncle Frank. They're cursed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the one that's cursed, but I think I think if you're standing to the right of Otto, you're screwed. That's what it's coming down uh, to. I mean, it's, everybody thought it was me. It's yeah, not. It's okay. you. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's not me. It's you. So, yeah. all right. Um I think it's time to show off something really interesting. I think, right. Roger, Thanks. have you seen, if you don't know, guys, in the live chat, Three Men in a Basement have a commercial. Yeah, so <laughs> who wants to see an awesome brand new commercial from Three Men in a Basement? Go up your babs and get ready. Hell yeah, coming up next. That's right, people. We've got drink oh. coasters for sale. New, it's merchandise on three men in a basement. High quality stuff right here. <laughs> if you are interested, hit me up on Instagram. Hit Otto up, hit Dave up, or Roger. 
uh we can <laughs> no. definitely do it it's uh it's it's a great new product that i decided to come out with so uh you know we got shirts we got sweatshirts and the newest thing drink coasters hey if you're uh here drinking cheers there's absolutely happy fr happy friday gary everybody. i'll trade you a coaster for a pint glass yeah. still waiting for a t-shirt too <laughs> unbelievable very well he did say he was going to bring it to east coast comic yeah, very but unfortunately gary. uh Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Uh, he's for a off while. the hook because everything's getting canceled. It's off the hook. The whole world's shutting down. Not Crazy. Easy. All right. So I'm going to do a giveaway right now. And I'm going to give away these five books or four books, four book lot. Um, we've got this Detective Comics right here. We've got this. This is a um, Detective Comics uh, 103. This is, I don't know if this is a, this is a variant right here by Tomasi. Oh, not Tom. Who did this? Mark Brooks. Bro uh, is that Brooks? Looks like Mark Brooks. Oh, God. I didn't realize it's Mark Brooks. He's like, we should probably keep that. Yeah. Well, All right. Too late uh, now. We've got yeah, this 40 it. right here. And uh, we've got this Matina right here, the deceased too. So, Roger. Up. This yeah. is a Roger question. There we go. Roger sent in a T Titans. Yeah. Um, what book? 12. 12. Modern. What grade in the live chat did it come back at for a modern book? <laughs> what grade? I'm like we'll profess. We'll, 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 we'll pre preface that. I guess how do you say it? Preface, preface that by saying it also came back off white pages. Right. So so pages sad. are black. <laughs> in the live chat, what grade did it come back at? So somebody's got to watch it. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, very Gary's very got Gary. it. Very Gary is the winner. <laughs> but Eight I don't need to win, he says. Off-white <laughs> off pages. Eight and a half off-white pages. Eight and a half off-white pages. Nailed it. Yeah. I'm yeah, glad. Right. People really People thrive on my, on, right. on my on my, on my, my pain right well it's okay but we have okay. a few people that appreciate <laughs> right or all what or... cgc does to me exactly <laughs> what did uh what did gary say at the swap something about oh you didn't watch his show yeah oh yeah he was he uh, i had my yankee sweatshirt on and he's and he said some yankee i said you're a yankee fan he goes you didn't watch my youtube show yeah you didn't watch <laughs> his room tour right since then i've watched it i've watched every damn show you've put on youtube <laughs> right nice <laughs> and that's pretty impressive uh collection of yankee stuff you got there, there i'd love go. to know where he gets those uh those figures so they all look the same as well as the black and white like batman right. figures you go those are pretty cool Th those are pretty cool how you how they're all the black and white figures right. I, I i do appreciate that there you go. There you go. So we've got some books to start unboxing. So we're going to start with a couple of the mail. Randy calls. Sloan says, I thought it was going to be a rap question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good question. That yeah, would have been. Really? Um, so what do we got for mail calls? We got a mail call from right, our boy. All right. So this is a big mail call. This is from our boy on Instagram, uh, Instagram Tom Rudan, True Dan. Uh, as we know, True Dan's got one of the best comic book collections on um, Instagram. I made a deal with him. Uh, okay. For a book, I want to show the book off to you guys, and I also want to. He had sent us something else, so let's see what he sent in as an act of kindness. So, so he sent this in as what? As a gift? Well, the Spider-Man book is mine. Okay. Whatever else, me and you are splitting. Okay. So there's two books in there. I believe. I believe there's three books in there. What is in there? Okay. Okay. Are there three books? All right. You know, I didn't because you yeah. said it was for us. Okay. I didn't look. I assumed it was a slab. <laughs> now I'm realizing there's three raw books. Oh okay, yeah, there's three raw <laughs> books in there. So. Okay. Um. Sorry, my bad. All right. So I'm trying to prep. Oh, for Roger. Oh, look at that. Poor Roger. Aww. Is it a team times 12? Is it a team times 12? <laughs> team times 12. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I did not expect that. That's all. All right. Awesome. So shout out to us. Uh, uh, yeah, I appreciate I'll that. I'll die if that's a team times 12. I will yeah. legitimately die. <laughs> yeah, we have a full house tonight, man. This is like six dudes in a basement right here. This is almost like a full on party. Just wait for <laughs> the girls to show up. All right. All right. I would love this to be a team. Oh so my god! Well packed. All right, the peanut butter sandwich. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Carl, the cat that makes peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Oh, that's awesome. So cool, cool stuff. Thanks, True Dan. So you guys, really appreciate on it. IG. Go follow uh, True Dan. His book, his comic book uh, collection is just out of this world. And also, he's a huge Transformers fan, too. So he's got a lot of G1 stuff. <laughs> Geeky Swag Shop's in the house. What's up? What's up, King? Uh, I, almost today. But I think David A.K. is rocking a Geeky Swag Shop shirt. Yes, he yeah. is. If he's not, if we're not, if we're not wearing his gear, he's making them. So, all right. All right. So, <laughs> now. This is. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right. Look at this. Well, well... <laughs> I have an AF-15. No, yeah. I don't. I don't. 
don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I have a nice reprint. Hey. Oh. Wow. So, nice, nice reprint, which I might send off. Uh, but thank you very much for that. He sent some books with us, and he's like, here you go. Let's go. I appreciate the show and everything. So, yeah. Um, That's good stuff. We really appreciate that. Absolutely. So now here's the book that I bought. Now, I talk to a lot of people, and I think everybody would agree, especially Dave in the cave. Um, blue chip books are Spider-Man villain books, right, Dave? 100%. 100%, right? 100%. And I have said this for a long time. If I'm a comic book fan, I'm a Spider-Man fan. Spider-Man is not you know, my favorite hero. I'm an X-Men fan, Fantastic Four. But these... I have since I've been on Instagram in the past four or five years, I have watched Spider-Man books just escalate. I mean, escalate in price. And I've slowly been buying the villains, and the villains are not cheap. Green Goblin is not cheap. Electro, Rhino, you can get. You know, Shocker, not bad. Um, Doc Ock, all these books. So when I see books like this coming to Raw, I, I try to make a deal. And Tom gave me a great price on this book, a book that I wasn't actively seeking out. But now that I have it, I'm happy about it. I don't know what it looks like. What, what are we laughing at? Did you put something on it? <laughs> He's got a picture of himself with the with his dog. Okay. And it's a little pocket dog, and he autographed <laughs> Oh, I got a nice autograph. <laughs> so, you got to show that bad boy off. Yeah, show it's the picture off. freaking hysterical. There we go. <laughs> not, only, not only did we get... I'm Two sorry. good books. Oh. We have an autographed picture of Drew Dan. Oh yeah, we got a frame that thing. We got a frame that's that's good. Good. Down in a grotto. So, but this is a beautiful book. All it's right, ASM nine. This is ASM nine. Very Ooh. nice. First appearance of Electro. Awesome uh, book. Early ASM key that uh, you know that I've been going funny. after. Talk, talk about knowing how to have fun. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> so he said that the book is somewhere around the three and a half to four. Uh, we both kind of talked about it, and you know what? For the for the for the blue chip keys, you, you can't have everything in seven fives, eight O's. Just I'm just happy to have it, you know. Yeah. But those books never lose. Nope, they're worth. They honestly got they don't. don't. They, just, they go up, but they up. never come down. Right, right. Absolutely. They go up and they never come down. Otto, how's that's, it? How's the spine look? Fine. That's that's the toughest part on that book. Yeah, just because it's spine, blue. The spine's definitely got some wear and tear, but. It's solid. Marvel chipping is That's limited. Book, the other corners look good, and of course, this is Ditko, and I'm a Ditko purist. Yeah, you got so, that bl the like the blocking on it where you have Spider Man laying down at the bottom and everything else above it. I mean, it's again, it's classic Spidey. It's classic yeah, Kirby. It's awesome, you know. And this is what comic books are missing now, like this storytelling that's on the cover. I mean, there's no. Word bubble per se, but you yeah, know, we like talked about this. that before. Like, you know, you look at the cover, you have no idea what's inside. Right, and this it even one tells you, you. It even tells you in this issue, you will meet Electro. Yeah, <laughs> first appearance, you can't, you know it, right? Yeah. Uh, and then it says, awesome. the scene you will never forget the defeat of Spider Man." So, another one of my Spider villains, Spidey Keys, that are down, and that's actually going to be the theme of this right now. So, just another book that I'm happy to have, and along with my picture of. <laughs> that's hysterical. That is right that there. is awesome. All right, right that is awesome. <laughs> yep. So we've got that. Um, all right, let's do this one. Here. All right. What's this one here? So what's this right here? This is. Uh... All right. This is a. Oh, so shout out to Iran from the NY Warriors. Iran, um, who's now doing some uh, raffling, and he's got good books to raffle off. And he was doing this book, and he was doing. He was. It was. It was a little slow on the uh, front end. So he was selling three spots. You buy three spots, you get four. So I'm all about the deals, right, guys? You know, if I can get a good yeah, deal. Yeah, man, that's a good deal. I'll get it. So, Three mains? Yeah. Three four mains? Not bad at all. Were you in the raffle before that? Was I was not in the raffle. before. I was looking was at it. your radar. You know, it was on my radar. And, of course. That puts you, know, you over the edge, right? Yeah. And like, but listen, if if, if Erod's going to raffle a book, if, you know, X is somebody that I off, often go to all the time, I like to support the community. And, you yeah, know, absolutely. and these are guys I trust. So absolutely. I definitely believe in, I you know, Erod and everything that he does. So uh, this is a book that I'm big into this, a book that I wasn't going after, but it's a variant, and I'll let Justin talk a little bit more about oh, it. And when I there? won it, I was texting him saying, dude, I can't see the – it's not showing up. And he's like, oh, well, you got to watch it. No, he already knew that I won. But I'm texting him, and he goes, well, you got to watch it. I, I don't know what's going on. So maybe it's your phone. So then I'm watching it, and sure enough, I win it. So, so oh, four, yeah. variant. 
First Miles Morales, but it's the variant cover. That's right. What you is it? son Ooh. of a bee. That's right. <laughs> so wow. tell me about people that so, step so in what is, shit. So this is auto <laughs> often. The only show. So so what, what is this? A one in step in it was a one in twenty five. All the uh, one in twenty fives were connecting covers, and of course, this is the most important one because it's first appearance of Miles Morales. So correct. Can you? Yeah, and as you guys know, I'm big and I'm a firm believer in the um, uh, the Spider Verse. I think those books are only going to blow. I I gobbled up all those books at nine eights first Gwens and all that stuff. So it is a great variant. Yeah, well, the fact that I wanted, variant. I have. Yeah. It's not something I'm actually looking for. A great raffle well, win. It's a great hey, thirty bucks. Yeah. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right. Let me tell you something. As a gambler, I was on a dry spell, boys. Yeah, I, you and me both. <laughs> I, I was hitting 22s and rolling sevens all day long. So. <laughs> can I can I tell you a funny story that actually happened today? Speaking yeah. of Spider Verse, I got a phone call from uh, a certain vendor out there that said, uh, "Can you find me an Edge of Spider Verse two, the Greg Land variant, in a nine point nine? Yeah, sure. Oh I yeah. go, yeah, sure. That's that's just right like hanging here. around, right? So there's only two in existence, and <laughs> he thinks I'm going to find it just here in New Jersey. I have no idea where this book could be, but he was just looking for a 9-9. Right. Well, you can find it, right? You're the variant holder. Oh, I could maybe find it in just like a back issue bin and hope to pray in God that uh, it comes back a 9-9. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. We got quite a bit of people right now. We got like 60 people watching. Yeah, why don't class. you bring on your uh, – you want to do your uh, CGC stuff, or you want me to go first? Why don't you go while I give a couple people some shout-outs. We got okay. Rag718. We got Joe Joe Crochet came all the way from PA to visit us. Joe, I hope you come back. Matt Forge is chilling with us. Hey. Uh, super chat. Super, uh, hey, there uh, you go. NY Warriors. Warriors. Thanks, Warriors. Thanks a lot. Thank you Cheers very to much. you guys. Roger, who else we got in the live chat? I thought you were on Dark Side we Jedi, got, Comic Collector. Big Lion Cat Big Lion Cat. Six. Double A Comics. Go sub him up. Yep. Mr. Walkers, <laughs> oh, no, uh, yeah, Randy Sloan. Who the hell is Randy Sloan? Yeah, Mr. Walkers, <laughs> my god, unbelievable. Matt Forge with us, Double A Comics, Gomez Comic Collector, <laughs> of course, Dark Side Jedi. Right, absolutely, thank you very much. Yeah, I definitely smashed that reminder because um, I was going through our analytics, like I said yeah. in other videos. So after our show tonight, man, you got to head over to Lords of the Long Box YouTube yep. channel. They're gonna have phenomenal uh, raffle. Um, Beautiful auction, auction. Yeah, yeah. Except, um, I can only assume if uh, Justin and Tivo and Dark Side Jedi is, yeah, is Manimal, Manimal, Manimal's on There's going to be some phenomenal yep. books. King of the Golden State's actually subbing in for me. I'm bowing out tonight. Oh, King really? of the Golden State is ah. coming big in. Big books are going up there. Yeah, so uh, some heat. First, I want to. This is this was a free gift that I got from CG uh, C2E2. Oh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put myself on the big screen because I don't think I could do. Yeah. But uh, this is a pretty oh, hey. this is a heavy book right now, guys. <clears throat> this was given to me, gifted for free. So by by oh, our sponsor, Rocket Comics. Hey. Oh, no, people at Rocket Comics. Heck yeah, Wait. man! This was a total surprise, a complete and utter surprise. I did not know that it was coming. So. Uh, I'm going to throw up a picture real quick. So I have four books. I'm going to show you the four books that I sent to Rocket Comics to get uh, cracked, pressed, cleaned, and regraded. So these are the books. We have a Batman 121 in a 3.5. Um, I think it's off white to white pages. We have a Batman uh, 189, which is in a 5.5 first Silver Age Scarecrow appearance. Batman 227 in a 5.5, which is a classic cover swipe Neil Adams. And a Batman 251 in a 4.0. So we're looking at three fives, five, five, two of them, and then also the 4.0. So those are the books that I sent to Rocket Comics. I sent them actually in December and I had them crack them, press them, clean them. And I said, you know what? Hold on to them till C2E2 because I don't want to send them into CGC. It would, it's going to take me four or five months. Rather do it on site grading, spend the extra money. Right. So not only do they do the pressing and cleaning of raw books, but they will crack out your CGC or CBCS as well. Uh, right. There is a small little charge for that. So if you guys don't want to crack it out and send it to Rocket Comics beforehand, you could always just send it directly to them and they will do it for you. Right. But Justin, so we're, we, definitely, we definitely agree that that fee is well worth us trying to crack a slab mm -hmm. and taking the book, right? Yeah, because you, you don't want to damage the book. I mean, yeah. I've cracked a bunch of books and I'm deathly afraid. I mean, Dave's known I've sent them pictures when I cracked a 9.8 uh, 
uh, CBCS the Edge of Spider Verse number two. I had the Greg Land variant and I cracked it because I wanted to get Greg Land to sign it. And yeah. that was the, it was like a surgeon. That took me <laughs> about a good hour and a half very, very carefully. So uh, first up is the Batman number 189. So it was a 5.5. Yep. And it came back a, oh, 5.5. So it okay. stayed. So again, these books, I didn't know if they were pressed before, but they were the older labels. And I originally just sent them in by myself. So uh, I know I didn't press them before. I originally sent them to CGC some time ago. So this one stayed the grade, but it's in a nice new holder. Uh, it is off white pages, but it's, you know, the highest that, the highest that it's going to go. Right. So Next, the grade is the grade. Yep. Grade is the grade. It's and a nice then, you looking know, book. And Real sometimes, nice you know, with these older books, especially the lower grades, you're, you're not going to see an immense grade bump. You know, sometimes the sweet spot is like a 7, 7.5, you know, to get to, you can get a full grade bump. Even in the 8.5s, you can get nice grade bumps. But if you have these older books, especially in low grades, you're not going to see a huge mass. But, you know, it, it, it depends on the book. I looked at the book. I thought there was only a few little spine ticks that definitely needed to get picked up. So next up is Batman 251. So Ooh. this one... Of course. Nice. Now this one was a 4.0 and it came back a 4.5. Hey. All right. Oh, there we so go. This one jumped up a half a grade. Very yeah. nice. And this was an old book that I had never pressed again. So I'll, I'll take the 0.5 grade. Well worth it. You know, cracking pressing. You're up. You're up. You like yeah. that. So that was well <laughs> worth it. Next up is, ooh, this is the big one, guys. This is a Batman... 121 oh. first appearance of let me do it first appearance of mr freeze this was originally a three five it was a three five uh book. three five off white to white pages or i think even off white pages i can't really remember and this came back a uh, three five oh wait white pages that's crazy Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that's really fresh. Nice. So, so a three a five, five white pages, back a three five, but white pages. Yes, no. <laughs> for a nineteen fifty nine book. Why would that not get a bump in grade though if the pages came back white? Clean it. That's what it is. That's a clean it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you know, clean, but that's really nice. I mean, I'll take, like, I'll take the white, no white pages. Nineteen fifty nine. Fifty nine white pages. Fifty nine. That's I crazy. That. So. Oh, not modern. Not modern. <laughs> and the last book. And this is the Batman 227 Neil Adams cover, Detective Comics 31 cover swipe done. This was a this was a 5.5, beautiful book. Everybody knows this cover, very classic. So this was a 5.5, and we are looking at a all right 6.0. So a nice right. little half a grade bump. Nice, yeah, good job. I'll nice take run. that all day. Yep. So we got and two we got two grades that stay the same, the but one of them actually went to uh, white pages, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, two of them that jumped up a half a grade. So uh, I'm pretty happy. Very, very good. That, that cover swipe, right? Yeah, cover swipe of Detective Comics 31. Yeah, yeah. And uh, real quick, let me just grab two things. So I did. there is a book that's going to be up at the auction on Lords of the Longbox in about 20 minutes because I had, the, I had it in a 6.0 and I upgraded to a 7.5. 7.5. The hey, girl. <laughs> yeah. hey girl. Yeah. Hey girl. So there is going to be a Hawkman four up for auction in about twenty minutes on Lords of the Long Box. So be there, bring your money because that book ain't going for cheap. And uh, <laughs> the only other book I want to show off. This was, I think, this is my highest ratio variant right now. This was a one in five hundred. One in five hundred. Oh my! Incoming God. number one. Beautiful Ooh. J. Scott Campbell. Beautiful old school artwork. This is a, an older artwork that he did with Delato instead of Sabine Rich. But all those girls on there. This book is clean, nice oh cardstock boy. cover. Everybody's on there. Where'd you the get screen. that, Justin? Uh, I got it on eBay for nice. a good price. So good, good tons price. and tons of characters. I cannot wait to get this signed and slab this year at Ooh. some con if it happens. Whatever happens. So, <laughs> so yeah, those like, were. Sounds uh, going to be the it place this year. I, you know, anybody who survived uh, C2E2 is pretty much, pretty much that's yeah. how, that was it <laughs> right Crazy. now. The Varian Horror lays claim to his name. <laughs> <Right>. the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got some, uh, some people in the house that I want to just acknowledge. Thunderhouse Design, uh, Comic Book Power Wash, uh, Two Brothers Comics. Thank you very much for jumping on. Power, um, 
Power Wash and Two Brothers Comics. You guys sub up to Two Brothers Comics. They got a lot of good stuff going on. I try to check them out. Their channel is just growing. They're doing a lot of giveaways. So, again, we always try to support the community and other YouTubers out there because yeah, it's what it's all about. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys, just to start a little side tangent. If you would have told me that a year and a half ago that I would be making deals with people with books in California, communicating with guys in, you know, where True Dan's from up outside of Canada, down the Florida, all over the country. It just gives us fans access. in Australia. Yes, I mean, yes, we got a lot of fans yeah, all over the place. I got, so. I, got, I got a fan that loves to see my pain. Your your pain, your rage, your rage. So it's the rage. Yeah, man. So really, just all about the community. Shout out to everybody who helps grow and build this community in a positive way. So, all right, I do have one more book that's not a. C it's a CGC book that I bought from. You have um, more than one more book. Oh, do I really? <laughs> oh, I got two more boxes. All right, so I want to show this book off because this is a hot book. Uh, at least a hot book. Justin jokes that this book won't be have this book won't see the big screen for next for the next twenty years. But I've been hoarding this book. You know what and, it is? Uh, yeah, I do know this book. This is from Comic Book Dave. So shout out to him. Um, this is uh, Fantastic Four Annual. Fantastic Four number six. Number six. Annual number six. Yep. It's five point five. Um, got this at a great price. And the genesis of this book was uh, Dave is from Jersey. He was like, Hey, look, I'm selling this. I said, Hey, man. What uh, exit? Yeah, what exit are you on? What exit? <laughs> so I gave him a little bit of a doubt payment, and I said, hey, I'll meet you at the swap. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it at the swap. So besides myself, very Gary's hoardiness. I mean, he's got four times as many as I do. But Justin, <laughs> when I was – this is a funny, very funny story. I got a funny story for you. Can I tell you the story? So I'm in Baltimore, and I was going to buy like three of these. Okay. Right? I was going to buy three of these. And Justin goes, don't buy these books. And I go, why? And what did you answer with, Justin? I said, you won't see them until 60? I think until the age of 60, which is like a 10 year. So he goes, so 10 years. And I said, we'll bet. We'll bet. Yeah, if, he, right. if he comes, <laughs> if, if he shows up before the age of 60, I owe you a book. And if he comes after the age of 60, you owe me a book. <laughs> yes, right. Exactly. So, yeah. So, um, just another book I've been hoarding. Um, and it was a great price. So, I couldn't pass it up. And uh, I'll sure to hook up with Comic Book Dave at Terrific Con. So, all right. Let's keep it rolling. What else we got? Wow. All right. We got lots of stuff. I mean, this is like slab craziness right here. All tons right. and tons well, of I don't books. even know what this book is. I've, I've never seen so many priority priority mailboxes in my life. <laughs> really, this is amazing. Up, <laughs> you guys don't know. After this, I got to clean this whole thing up. But Roger just throws this stuff oh, everywhere. Yeah, it's terrible. You, <laughs> so, have it, you have it so tough. Yeah, I got it tough. I'll tell you guys. what. I'll take your 9-8 yeah. and clean up. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. So <laughs> I don't even know what this book is. I, I can't even tell you. I was just went on such a binge about, you know, between the swap and here. So, so you don't know what this is. I have no idea. So you know who it's from? I have no idea. I don't even know this person. <laughs> I have no idea who Janet Alvarez. I have no idea where she came from. Like, I I couldn't tell you. Like, I can't go through back my Instagram or like oh, whatever. All right. So so this is an ASM three hundred. Oh, I finally got this. Yes, I thought this was lost. Okay, 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 okay. So this is a book. So as far as for you guys know, I am not privy to an ASM three hundred nine point eight like Roger is, but I do have. Uh, ASM uh, 229, 300, 301, and no. Right? 298, 299, and 301. Yes, thank you very it's much. It's not they're a regular in, ASM 300. Hold on, but they're all a 9.4. Okay, so that whole run, those four books are all 9.4s. Oh, really? Very linear. So when I, I got on this kick because I saw Ryan Comic Guy had it, and I went, so I went on eBay, and I'll tell you the story now that I know the story. I remember it. I was the only person bidding on it, and it was after I had a couple libations, <laughs> and I ended up winning it. For like 35 bucks. No way. Yes, I swear to God. I hate you. So look what this is. This is really cool. Dave, you're gonna love this. Because the funny thing about this is I this is I'm trying to get this in a 98 to know, match my ASM 300. Oh That's, I I think I got yeah, I think I yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I got one of those mini. too. <laughs> nice. This is a video game mini. It came with a D it came with the uh the Spider-Man DVD when right. it came out. Um I think Tommy McGuire back then, right? Is that what it's from? Yeah. I have no idea where it's from. Yeah, but it, I know it, it came. It, it was issued with a DVD when 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 Spider Man first came out on DVD. Um, I don't know which Spider Man. I think it's back with Tobey Maguire, like Spider Man two or three. Right. Yep. Spider Man two. It was two thousand seven. It came out. Yeah. So now I've got these five books <laughs> and a nine four. Why that guy? I, I'm sick. I don't know why. I bought no, but that's phenomenal. It's really it looks cool. great right on the wall. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm trying to get one of the nine eight. Dave, what do you want? 
Yeah. Otto, I blame you because I recently upgraded my 300 to a 9.4. Yeah. And I got that and it's a 9.4 and now I refuse to sell them because it's like, because they match and it looks yeah, nice. Right. They look great. <laughs> they look, <laughs> look, when it's linear, why? It all, because it, it looks, looks better. better. It, it, looks looks better. Better. it looks better. All right. So, man, we are rolling right now. So here comes a big CGC book. So we're going to see what happens right now. <laughs> um, and I will tell you all of these books as we get going. So, all right. Oh, man. Here we go. Here we All right. It. So let's so go. These were. Okay. So I'll, I'll tell you. So these, there were three raw. Okay. Daredevil one was a 5.5 older case, not the old label, but the thinner case. So that was a 5.5. Five. My BA 12 was a 9.4. Um, was a 9.4, just that I don't think I ever had pressed. Uh, there's a first Morbius that I bought from Zap Comics like four years ago that I've been sitting on. So that was a Zap Comic purchase. There's an ASM 50 Raw because I sold my other one. Um, there's a Batman 121 Mr. Freeze that I won in a raffle for a 3.5. And I think that's – oh, and a first Lobo Raw, which I'm just trying to get in a 9.8. So that's what I'm looking at. Okay. So – so you submitted these with Rocket. I submitted them with Rocket. I had them do the whole process. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is real quick, guys, before you start, yep. how about this? Oh, I want to see what gift he got you, and then I'll talk. Go ahead. Oh, all right. Go ahead. No, yeah. go ahead. All of a sudden. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> dude, I'm so excited, dude. <laughs> ah, there you go. go. That's awesome. Yes, dude. Nice. Thank you very much, Scott. I really do. Thank you, Scott. Listen for this. Uh, I'm a huge John Tyler. More importantly, I'm a huge Wolverine fan. And I'll be honest with you, I had fun. I had fear of missing out on this book. And I was like, I can't believe I missed out on this book. <laughs> um, and I, but I just let it go because you can't have you can't get everything, right? You guys, yeah. you just can't. But yep. I'm like, I'll let it go. But then I started seeing it in an 9-8, and I was like, my God. And so shout out That's to awesome. uh shout That's out to the team at Rocket Comics for this. This was a very I'm awesome. very appreciative of this, as you can see by my reaction. This That's amazing. Not what I was expecting. So, thank you very much, Rocket Comics. Uh, <laughs> I'm very happy for this man. That's awesome. All really right. awesome. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. let me uh, let me just. I'm just going to bow out because, of course, I'm going on the Lords of Longbox auction. So, uh, for myself, thanks for everybody who's joined right now. Thanks for everybody who's subbing right now. Hit that like button. I have a video dropping next week. I am doing my second indie spotlight. Uh, my first indie spotlight was for Image Book Die. Uh, go back and check that out when you guys can. I will. The second indie spotlight is for Something is Killing the Children, done by Boom Studios. So that is going to be dropping next week for myself. Is that, is uh, that based on the book? Not that I'm aware of. What, my my spotlight or? No, the, the, the Something is Killing the Children. It's a brand new so story from James Tinian. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, guys, thanks, everyone, for joining. I'm bowing out. Uh, this show is still continuing running, of course. Check out the Lords of the Long Box auction in about 10 minutes. Um, hopefully, when I drop out, you guys don't lose the feed. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens. If we do lose the feed, I'll just don't put it back on. Uh, smack you know. You're fine. All right, All right guys. Go. Take care. All right, Justin. Peace. <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, you still there? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right, All right Dave, well, you're no, driving his car. We're so. much better looking now. <laughs> yeah, really. All right. All right. So, <laughs> let's. This is big, right. you guys, because. One, um, this was a pretty pricey investment. And my goal... Right. So you have six books here. I do have six goals, but I just want to say this. So my goal after this, uh, because when I was at the swap, or at the original swap, uh, we were talking about numbers, right, and money. Um, guys, I work two jobs. I'm a teacher. You know, by no means do I have, you know, money in my pocket or equity to blow. But I believe in comic books as an investment. So what I'm going to do is, after this video, probably within the next week... I'm going to give you a breakdown of what I spent, what I spent to clean it, and if there was a price increase for it, just to give you an idea of how we are investing. So a little bit of an economics thing, and I'm going to give you the best numbers possible. So that's on my to-do list as I'm home for two weeks. Hey, okay. You got, you got nothing else to do. <laughs> I know. There's no right. sports to watch. No sports, no to, sports watch. to take the kids to. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, listen, it's going to be brutal. People, the people that don't know me, I have a, a, a pretty large hat collection. Yes. Okay, and I choose hats based on whether we're watching sports or what I'm wearing and what it matches. And I went into my hats. I said I refuse to wear any hat of anything they have shut down. So it eliminated the Yankees. It eliminated the Giants. It eliminated, <laughs> eliminated Michigan. It eliminated Michigan. <laughs> it eliminated almost every freaking thing. So I wore my brother's hat. The Shout out to the Greeno. 
who does our shirts, yep. does our sweatshirts, does and swag shop shirts, does Lords of Long Lords Box. of Long Box shirts, and now does the NY Warrior shirts. Right. All those shirts, all those products come from my brother at the Green O in Newington, Connecticut. Correct. If you didn't so know, shout out to Dave. so there you go. So all there right, you go. so shout let's go. Dave. What if are we? He's gonna... not watching. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. All right. All right. All right. So, so yeah. the first book, Omega Men Three. Oh, Ooh. this, is the, book. this right. is the book. So this is the book. This is. I'm a huge fan of this book. I've had multiple copies of this book. I've got a nine four. I've had four or five raw books. This book was very influential. It's the first appearance of Lobo. Uh, could be one of my favorite DC villains, other than Sinestro and Black Adam. Um, I've been hunting this book because I refuse to buy it at a nine eight. I just can't do it because there's so many raw copies out there. Um, Let's go. Let's get started. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Right, well, you, Come so on, you baby. Bought it raw. I bought it raw. You submitted it. I submitted it. I had it pressed. It's, you want? I want the nine eight. I want the nine eight. And you're disappointed with uh, anything below. Anything below. Come on, baby. Sorry, bud. Nine eight. Yeah, come on, yes, yes, yes. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Yes, Flux. There we go. I don't really hate you, but I hate you. Yes. I have worked hard for this book, you guys. I have bought multiple <laughs> copies. I've done it. I, I probably spent more than the book is worth. I'm, I got kids to go upstairs. Like, yeah. and, that, and that's the show, everybody. Thanks there for I coming. Go. Later. Come on. Come on. I got should end it with that one. There we go. All right. That's Thank awesome, you, Rock the Comics, for doing your work. I want to also preface that I said on a previous show, if this book does not come back at night, I'm going to quit comic book collecting altogether <laughs> and short box Bernie. Um, <sighs> Was gonna hold me to it, so yeah. So now I do have this book in a nine eight. Very happy. The hunt is over. I'll be selling the nine four, not tonight, but if nice, anybody can hit me up, I'll sell it to you for a good price. All Congrats. right, that's All right. amazing. All right. Here we go. I'm good. I'm good. Congrats, brother. I'm good. I almost started. I wanted to take Congrats. out your neck, but if okay. you hit me, we, I would hit back. Yeah, Trust right. Me. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Next one is BA twelve. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Bought this raw. Bought this There's raw. somebody else that's gonna hit you if this comes back a nine eight. <laughs> yeah. The eye opener. This, yeah, this is an I, I heart art, I heart I Braulio heart purchase. Heart. I've been sitting on this book. Um, book was a nine four. Just had it, and you know what? I kept looking at this book, and Dave, you know, and I'm sure you'll agree, with Roger. It was slabbed. It, it was slabbed, right? But I didn't have it pressed because this was like the first, like this was four or five years ago when I first started getting back into it, and I knew this was a hot book. Yeah. So I kind of gobbled it up, and I had a nine zero oh, and nine two. Um, so when I sent it to see, actually, you know who actually submitted this book to me was KRS Comics when they were submitting books before they really got bigger. So um, nice. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Quick, yeah. quick stop. So Nicholas Pickle, thank you so much for the five dollars super chat. That's awesome. All thank right. you. Absolutely. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. Um, so book is a nine four. If it's a wash, I'm okay with. If it goes down, obviously I'm happy. If it goes up is what I'm hoping for. Because so you, wait, at, so you bought this slab to the 9-4. No, 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 no. I bought it raw. You bought it raw. Did not press it. Yeah. Sent it to KRS Comics to get submitted to CGC when I first started getting into the slabs. Okay. Then I, oh, okay. I wanted I that part. So, right. So then Came I, back in 9 4, so you cracked it. I had Scott crack it, do his work, <clears> and then I sent it to the on site grading. So nice, um, man. Yeah, right. So 9 4 is a wash. Anything below, you know, I'm unhappy with, but anything up. Is what I'll talk about as far as moving up. So let's do it. Oh man, I took a hit. It's a nine oh. I took ah. a hit. That's the hit. Ouch. That is the hit. Ouch. See, it's still, that, still a nice book to have. I mean, it, it definitely Harley Quinn. It definitely is. Ouch. So with nine oh, wow. You're laughing inside, aren't I'm you? I'm not laughing. You That's, are laughing inside. I feel for you because for it to go down that two, much, two, if two. If you had bought, if you had told me. I just bought it raw. That's what I want. Right. I would be laughing at you. Okay. The fact that it was Man. Already slammed. All right. De definitely getting the notes on that one. Trains, sure. go, east. Trains, go, Trains west. go west. So now, yeah. what I would do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this book. I'm going to bring it to cons. I'm going to bring a couple extra bucks. And I'll, you know, I think a happy medium for this book is a 9 2 for me, right? So I like the 9 twos. But, but the good news is, is when I did talk to Scott, I asked him, I said, Scott, did any of my books go down? And before I could say no, say no, don't tell me, he said yes. So I believe and I hope that none other of the books have gone down. So that might be the monkey off my back. So, hey, what are there you going to do? do? What are you going to do? All right. There yeah, you go. It's still, you know what, in, in a 9 -0, and I mean, again, I'd have to go back and look at the numbers, but just guessing. I mean, right. that's, a, that's that's a $200 book. So you got $200 yeah. with the equity there. So, yes, exactly. Is this the only one you own? 
That's the only one I own. Okay. But again, it's Harley, you know. So yeah, I, I mean, yeah. It's right. good to have a Harley book these days. Yeah. <laughs> if you're disappointed, two brothers says, if you're disappointed, I'll give you five bucks and a Coke and a smile. <laughs> well, you know what? I am disappointed, but not enough yeah. for a Coke and a smile. All right. Give, give so, your Coke. Right, right. But you know what, though? <laughs> I got a 9-8 Lobo. Yeah, you do. You better keep that one. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Keep that one on I, top. I, I got to keep that one off the edge right here. Keep you know, that man. one on top. All right, Roger. Let's so, keep going. All right. So the next one is. Take it easy. Daredevil here. number one. Oh, big book Ooh. right here. Big, big boy book. Big book right here. So. Uh, I'm a huge Daredevil fan, um, and I thought the series was great. I grew up on the Frank Miller run, and to me, this was just fantastic. I bought this book a bunch of years ago from um, Dan Gallo, uh, who's a big seller um, in Westchester County here in uh, Connecticut, New York. When I was looking at these books, the hardest thing to look at, right, is the um, the letterbox with the Daredevil in it because it was green. So there was a lot of, like, dents in it. So this book started off at a 5.0. It was the thinner case, and I took a chance with this book. So, this is the big book, boys. We'll see what happens. So, it was a five-five. It was a it was a five-zero before. It was a five-five. Because uh, you just said five-zero. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a five-five. I will be complacent with a five-zero. Anything below it, because I am taking a chance. I am gambling. Uh, anything below a five-zero, I'm disappointed at a five-zero. You take that chance, but it did start off at a five-five. Come on, baby. Eight and a five. Let's say it a five five. Okay. Right. So that's it. All right. Yeah. So the we'll grade is that. the grade. And it's got a better better yes, case. Absolutely. It's got the nicer better case in case. it. Case. Right. Well, Bigger, more uh off white pages? Uh white pages. So I nice man. Because I don't know. You, if, know. you know what? Screw pages. You know, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. God. This might have actually been off white. Oh, this is sixty four. Sixty four. So to 64. have a book, to have a daredevil one, white five pages. five white pages. I'm very happy with it. So all right. Okay, AG Surfer, thank you very much. That's crazy. Uh, White pages book. though. That book that book presents really well for a five five. It really does. You. you know what it is? It's this part right here with Daredevil. Yeah, is very hard because. That is where all the chipping is. But I'll tell you, it's got white pages. It's got white pages, man. Scott clean they clean the hell out of this book, you guys. Because this for a white page, this was a bit dirty, you man. Clean the black page? That is pretty. <laughs> all right. All right. So let's move on. So this next book um eventually is going to be mine. Okay. You know. Eventually you and I are gonna make a deal on this book. Next book is okay. gonna be mine. That's foreshadowing uh, right there. It's gonna be amazing Spider Man 101. All right. Ooh. Okay. Morbius. Okay. So Story. Story is I bought this from Zap Comics. Shout out to my boy Michael M Mike Mata, one of the Jersey boys. He was at a Zap Con, I think, like three or four years ago. And I was after this book, and this book was <laughs> way underpriced compared to what it was it is now. So I did buy it. Funny story about this book is it's a very the cut is very different on it. So it looks like there's spine roll. Yep. On it, but it's not, right, Dave? You agree with me? Yeah, I mean it's 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 the wrap. It's Some the of them wrap, are great. Right? Some of them aren't. I mean, it, it, there's there's nothing that you can do about it. It's not. Yeah, like it looks like it's been folded to, like awkwardly, but yeah. Yep. I mean, it's exactly. it's literally just how the book is. I mean, you're not you're not gonna get dinged for it. It's right, just you're not gonna get dinged for it, right? Yeah, okay. it's just the way it is. So, so best guess estimates is <clears throat> a seven zero. Bought it raw. I did buy it raw. I did okay. buy it raw. So I paid nice. a lot less, and I bought it years ago too. So, um, disappointed with under a seven. Happy with a seven five. So I don't really know what to expect. And you know why I did it, though? Because this was the right time to have this book graded. Right, guys? Yep, 100%. All the hype sitting in there, you know, get these blue chip Spider-Man keys done. So, um, again, don't know what I'm thinking about. So, don't, like I said, 6-5, disappointed, 7-0, solid, 7-5, happy. Eight and a half. Wow. Ooh. Wow. wow, wow. Eight and a half. Yes. It is, oh, there is, we go. Is, is that for sale? Problem? For that, that book. is that is, great. That is a solid. Yeah, that's a great grade. Dude, that book is that for sale? That FS buddy. That <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I got a I got a six I got a six six zero oh, six five. No, I, I just told you it was going to be mine. <laughs> that was one of our videos that we had that I had mine submitted. Ooh. Expected a six and a half, and it came back like a four and a half. And I almost threw it across the room. Yeah, but I had to sell one. it because I was so angry about it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, I right. just uh, I just sent off a, a CGC invoice, and I actually sent the 101 second print. I actually got it from Erod, so shout out NY oh, Warriors. Nice. Uh, so well, let's 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 see how that comes back. Yeah, so so. That, I will end up having that book 
whether he wanted it or not. So <laughs> either here, give me a good price or I'll walk away with it. As you, yeah, right. as you can see, the white down there is what I was talking about, about the cut of it. So yeah, uh, first Morbius at 8.5, especially right now. So when I do my economics about this, I'll – this is going to be a big. That's going to be huge. That's, gonna that's, be that's a huge, huge bump. bump. An absolutely cool. huge bump. Only bought it for what it came back rated. That's yeah, going to be a huge. Bump. Exactly. And I, I honestly, guys, you guys, I didn't pay more than two hundred bucks for it. So all you. right. So we're going to keep going. Shout out to Burke Nasty who's jumping in with us. Two Brothers Comics, Doctor Strange Love, uh, Mister Unknown Comic you Guy, ASM Fifty or Batman One Twenty One first. Let's do the ASM Fifty. ASM Fifty. Let's do the ASM Fifty. ASM Fifty, I think, is a four and a half to five. Uh, well, bought it at your shop in East Hartford. Comics and uh, collectibles. Is that the name of the place? Comics and collectibles. Um, no, no, I did not. I apologize for this. They had one. I didn't want it. I bought this from Zap Comics. I bought this is a wall book. Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, the price is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, this, is a wall, this is a wall book from Zap Comics. And I made raw, a, raw made a great deal with them. And um, I'm disappointed at a four, happy with a five because it is first Kingpin. It's that red cover, it's very iconic. Um, and I think Zap is very good with eyeing their books at what their grades are. Dave, you agree with me on that? Yeah, I mean, this book is tough because because yep. a lot of them had the subscription fold yep. right down the middle, so you have that line straight down. It's an old red cover, so it's so it's really easy to chip and ding. So hey, yeah, it so, comes back a five. I mean, that's that's a great grade. Mine's a four and a half. So yeah, 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 definitely happy with a five with a solid five zero because again. Blue chip books, five yep. solid, yeah. seven five. Spider Man, Spider Man, first Cam major Spider Man anniversary major. issue. Talk to me, Goose. How are you with a four and a half? Um. All right. Well, the five and a half should be a go, seven. Right. Oh, there we go, dude. Go. You're killing the Spider Man game right now. <laughs> Spider Man heavy lot. So yeah. All well, right. So I'll trade you my four five. and a half in cash for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we go. Five and a half. First Kingpin, White Pages too. White Dude. Pages. I gotta give a shout out to two guys right now. I gotta you know give what? a shout out to I, I, the ex illusionary and his boy Ed White Picasso. Because before White Pages, I was like, the grade is the grade, you know, like it is what it is. Because no, but you gotta get the white pages, you know, white, the, pages. white pages. It's all relevant. It's, it's all, all relevant, relevant. I mean, right? It is relevant. So I mean, when you have a, you, uh, listen, when you have a modern book with black pages and they put off white pages on it, yeah. Do I really trust that those have white pages? Well, that's it doesn't says. matter. That's it what the, that's what your slash. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, it it doesn't matter what the, the rock would say. So yeah, so that, that presents fun. that presents real well, Otto, yeah, for a five that. five. That's yeah. gorgeous, man. So, Congrats. Five five. So good right there. All right. So the last book now. Batman one twenty one. God, do I love this book? Can you slide real quick? Let me show you something. I can't <laughs> wait to take this book and put it on my slab stand. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Nice. By Mr. Free Slab Stand. So, if you guys know, I'm a huge villain fan. And I've been after this. I Actually, I won this book to, from a raffle from Jem Mint like four years ago. At like 1230 at night, I'm watching it. It was like, you know, $10 spots. It was huge numbers. And I remember winning it. And uh, I was on my way to a family vacation. And I ended up winning it. And I blew these guys' phones up at like 1.30 in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, dude, is somebody dead? They're like, yeah. dude, I just won this book. Like you reach that? over and watch, wonder why your phone's buzzing. Like, yeah, <laughs> like somebody, somebody's dead or in jail, you know? Um, so this book is a three and a half. This book, like Justin just said, is old. They didn't even call him Mr. Freeze. They called him like uh, – That's Dave. What's that? Um, no, no, when Justin, when Justin talked about it before. Oh, I got You know what I mean? When Justin <laughs> talked about it before. So, um, and it's just a great book, very hard book to find because at this time, back in the day when Batmans were coming out, they didn't care about the villains weren't really big and nobody thought Mr. Freeze would hang around. And Mr. Freeze has just been a very iconic villain, especially in Gotham and stuff like that. Yeah, so, even though they butchered him in the movies, yeah, he still cool. is just iconic he's in just the like, comics. He's iconic in the, in the cartoons too, right? Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. So yeah, uh, if it comes back at 3.0, I'm disappointed. If it comes back at 3.5, the great is the great. It was the older case. Um, and I do want to tell so you So you bought it slabbed. I won it slabbed. You won it slabbed. I won it slabbed. At a? Uh, at a 3.5. Okay. With the older case. And this is the God's honest truth. The person who was raffling this book I was talking to three weeks before he raffled yes. it. Oh, and, wow. Yeah, yeah. I swear to God. And he said, and I said to him, I said, dude, I can't, I'd give you a down payment, 
but I need some time. But as a father, I was going on a family trip, so I couldn't be like, all right, I'm going to buy this Batman book and you guys can't go on vacation, you know? <laughs> so I, I had a little bit of, of uh, Mike W. Rogers. What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining. So I, I, as a father, as a father of a responsible adult, I said I couldn't do that. So he goes, well, I'm just going to raffle it. And I, I won a mini, and I, I think I spent 50 bucks on it. So without further ado, Roger, is the grade to grade? Am I happy, or what's going on with it? Come on, baby. Is that what you said what you're going to be happy with? I'm happy with three a 3.5, because three, three and a half is what it started with, right. right? So when it was an old case. So what do we New think? case, four and a half. Yes, yes, that is huge. That is nice, man. This book. Four and a half. That's very nice. higher one grade A. Yes, there we go. Well done, higher sir. Great job. Thank That's you very huge. much. Dave, blow it up for you right there. That is Boom. There we go. Boom. There we go. We got on that white pages. <laughs> yeah. Off white. Very funny. <laughs> very funny, Mr. Jones. Right. So, yeah, man. Uh, but, well, wait, wait, wait. Put it in the slab stand. Okay. We got to see that. Let's go. Put that, Let's go. Put that baby in there. <laughs> I got to get me oh, one of these slab stands. It's not unpacked. For Christ's sakes. <laughs> So there we go. So that goes there. Give it a sec. Ah, look at that. A full grade bump. So when I do the video and talk about what the, the value is and stuff like that, I can't wait for it. So look at that. That looks great. Oh, that looks great, right? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. A little more. There we go. Yeah, Boom. There it is. Yeah, no, right. That looks, that looks awesome. You know, Batman 121. Uh, just great. So I took a hit, you guys. I'll be honest with you. My VA12 took a hit, but I tell you what, on all the books, I think that was a book to take the hit on. Yeah, you, you, I agree. You right. traded, you <laughs> traded up. I mean, book. if out of all the books you were going to take the hit on, I would honestly take the the hit on the Harley because yeah. you you want all these books in in a higher grade, whether it's Spidey, whether it's Old Batman, whether it's Daredevil. I mean, they're they're timeless books. I mean, not, and not to say Harley's not a timeless book, but Right. These, but these are more valuable. A higher grade for a lot cheaper. Yep. Right. Like right. going from a nine to a nine four and a Harley right. is not as big of a jump as a, you know, yeah. this Spider Man from a five five to a four five. Correct. Right. Or because yeah, yeah. Or, or this one a full from bump. a three five to a four five. Correct. Yeah. That's, the that's probably one hundred fifty bucks at a minimum. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's huge. That's right. Huge. And you, you know, you look at um, something that I like to look at too now is census. How many is there, how many right. of them in a census, right? Because as comic book buyers, listen, let's face it, we are comic book collectors, right? Yeah. But we are comic book investors. Sure, right? we're always looking at that. We're always looking at these numbers. And I bet if you looked at the census and said how many 129s are there versus how many um you know what uh BA twelves are there, yeah. it's just astronomical. So and you know what? as 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 people I mean, we joke around now. I get angry when you get, you know, because yeah. I've been crapped on by CDC. I am very happy when I see you guys get. Thank you very much. I just, I just joke around right. when I tell you I hate you and all that. But <laughs> I'm joking around. That's just been phenomenal. I mean, you, right. everything you had other than this one, the right. PA12, yeah. was a bump up. It was you a know, bump up or, or a push. So and I'm I mean, happy for you. Yeah, thank know. you. Thank you. So, um, man, we've been kicking it. I know you guys probably want to uh, get on yeah. to the uh, auction right now. So we'll do a little bit of closure before we wrap up. So. Um, uh, Dave, any parting words? No, for first, uh, first three men in a basement show as the, uh, an official member. So good stuff. Thanks guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I'm, uh, I'm super stoked to join the group on, uh, you know, on a regular basis yeah, and, uh, really. onward and upward. And, right. and like I said uh, earlier at the top of the thanks show, for not declining the invite. Yeah, <laughs> really? My God. Imagine if you just said no. He's it's like, yeah, guys. you know what, guys, I like it, but no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys are looking for toilet paper, I got it for you too. So, right. you so uh, Dave, any new videos dropping on your channel? Which is? Why don't you promote that? Give it a shout yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, Dave, Dave in the Cave here on uh, on YouTube. I am Dave in the Cave one on Instagram. A little bit more active on Instagram, just because you know, again, it's it's my phone. But probably gonna have a uh, a video drop this uh, this weekend with some of the new comic the new comic book day pickups. Um, and I actually just picked this up from uh, Ryan, the comic Ryan comic guy who was on the yep. show a couple of weeks back. So it's actually uh, an amazing Spider-Man 799 variant. It's All actually right. a virgin variant. So it's right. good stuff. So, um, yeah. so Ryan, Ryan, comic book guy is somebody. Do we, we want to give a shout out yeah, to? Ryan, just like Ryan everybody. comic guy is phenomenal. I bought a book. Yeah, he tell had, us a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah. So he, well, he has an unbelievable collection on his website for sale. 
like from from moderns to older books to variants like you know you could tell that uh you know he invests a lot of money in getting some great books and getting them graded but i happen to be on instagram when he had one of his raw book live auctions and uh I don't know. It was I like those a little better because you get you can get more for your money. Right. Yep. He had some great books. I ended up getting the uh, the Spider Man. What if Spider Man? The others. Yeah. Um. And then he the sent that, poison, right? Yeah. And he yeah. sent that to me with a couple other Carnage books, and he's got uh, just great content, great uh, books for sale. When he's when he does his raw auctions, there's some good stuff. I mean, there was stuff in his his raw auction. I couldn't even type fast enough, and it was just getting just taken going. up. Right, just yeah. getting taken up. He and he, he's book. super into the numbers game too, just yes. in the sense of hey, print run. Uh, what's your you know what's your ROI? Where are you buying? Where are you selling at? So yeah, right. it's it's an it's just another part of the game that 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 we play. So it's yeah. uh you know kind of what it rounds out your your skill set at the end of the yep. day. I mean, the more tools you can have, the better you are at this. So. Right. Absolutely. Agreed. So, uh, yeah, so that was really cool. So guys, sub up to all these channels, Burke Nasty, two brothers, Lords of the Log Box, you know, Ryan comic book guy, very Gary, of course, NY warriors, Erod, all those guys. So as you can see, we've probably touched on 25 people in this great community. So we're going to say thank you. You know, Lords of the Log Box auctions going on. Uncle Frank, thank you very much for yeah, joining us today. In the garage. Much, Appreciate it. Absolutely, you're always Thanks, welcome back. Frank. Come join in, hang out, and yeah. talk about your books and stuff like that. It's always good to have local collectors come hang in. out afterwards too. For yep, the after absolutely. Party. <laughs> so, what I would like you guys to do is in the comments below, please tell us what you guys would like to see more of because that drives our content. And we're just not sitting up here sitting to talk to talk. Justin, Roger, myself, Dave, uh, we want to talk about things that are relevant to you guys and things we enjoy. Sure. That's why I'm going to do the economics about these books and stuff like that. You know, my daughter Zoe hijacked my channel last week. She grew up <laughs> that was awesome. Of Funko Pops. I can't believe there's Funko Pops on our channel, but and I promise you know, hip hop spotlights coming back. Yes. yes. If I was a teacher, I would be kicking those out right. for the next two weeks. Right. Because we're all stuck home. Well, I still have virus. to work 12 uh, hours a day. So right, when right. I have a chance and I'm able to, because I don't want to just throw it out there to do it. I want to make sure I'm prepared for it and we do a great video. So we'll yeah. be doing those this within the next couple of months, I swear. Right, absolutely. So shout out to everybody that's still hung out with us. That's all I can see right here is Comics and Culture, AG Surf, Surfer, Mike W. Rogers, Matt Forge. So head over to the Lords of the Log Box. On behalf of Three Men in the Basement, I am Everett Otto, and I am out. Peace. 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 Stay safe, everybody.